What's going on guys? It's Daniel here. I want to get on here and talk about something that I've been really interested in recently and that is light. Um, light, I would say, is one of, if not the most uh, overlooked factors in health and wellness. And um, why do I say that? It's because, you know, people, you know, they think, okay, I want to get healthy. So they do whatever diet, they go to the gym, um, and that's about it, right? That's really about it. Um, there's a lot more to it. And one thing that I think a lot of people overlook is light. And um, what am I talking about when I say light? I mean the light that is around you on your skin and also going into your eyes. Um, these are both important. It's not just about, I'm sure most of you watching have seen like the red light glasses. These are good. Um, but if you're in an environment all day where there's unnatural, uh, like fluorescent blue lights and you think that you're completely protected from the, uh, negative, uh, effects of this light just by wearing, uh, a type of glasses, you're wrong because actually our skin, uh, contains photoreceptors and, um, our skin is constantly absorbing whatever light is around us. And these um, unnatural lights, the fluorescent lighting, um, even the, the LED lighting, which I, I do think is, is better, um, but these lights still have negative effects, even if they're not absorbed into our eyes. You could completely cover your eyes, and if that light's still hitting your skin, uh, your, your photoreceptors are gonna be absorbing that. And if the light is not in tune with uh, your circadian rhythm and the circadian rhythm of the sun, then it's going to have negative effects on your mitochondria and on your blood, on your body as a whole. And so ideally, what are we striving for? I'd say ideally, you want to be as close to the sun as possible. You want to keep uh, your circadian rhythm in check by staying in tune with the sun. And you need to do that by... Um, I'd say most importantly is in the morning and in the evening, you want sunlight going in your eyes and on your skin. That's that I, I would say that's most important. Um, now, throughout the day, in the middle of the day, like here in Thailand, um, it gets really hot. Uh, the UV index can go up to 13 sometimes, which I didn't even know is possible. And so, you know, for me to go out and be in the sun all day, is unrealistic because I'm going to get burnt. Um, and I, I mean, this is something else I can mention is that uh, sunburn is really just oxidative damage and it can be undone or even reversed using vitamin E. So that's something maybe I'll make another video about. But um, basically, what I want to get on here and say is that I think that it's important that you Pay attention to your to the light in your environment, um, especially in the mornings and in the evenings. And, and why do I say this? Is because in the morning you're waking up, and the light that you absorb within the first hour of waking up is going to set your clock. It's going to set your clock for the day. Your body's going to say, "Okay, what time is it?" Um, and based on that, how long, um, do, how how awake do we need to be right now? And for how long do we need to be awake? And so when you wake up and you get that, that morning sunlight in your eyes, which is at a, a specific wavelength, that's going to set your clock. How awake do we need to be right now? And for how long do we need to be awake? So you should do that every morning if you can. And things that you will notice is that you'll have better energy throughout the day. Um, your your metabolism will, will be... Um, your mitochondria uh, will be healthier, which will increase your metabolism, make your metabolism better. And um, you'll notice that your appetite is more regulated and um, better mood. I think you'll definitely notice you'll have a better mood. Um, and then in the evening, you want to, again, keeping the theme of staying with the sun. So. As that sun's going down, you want to get some of that in your eyes and on your skin, and that's going to tell your body, okay, starting to get ready to sleep, starting to get relaxed, get tired, get ready for bed. 
start going into repair mode. And when people do the opposite of that, the sun starts going down and then they go out to Walmart or wherever it is that has extreme amounts of unnatural lights, that's confusing your body. Your body's thinking, okay, is that um, the morning sun? Is that early, uh, early morning sun? Is it time to wake up now? I thought it was time to go to sleep and now it's time to wake up. Okay, I guess we need to set back the clock a little bit. We're going to be awake for a, for a lot longer. And this is why a lot of people have issues with sleep is because of light. And because when the sun's going down or after the sun's already gone down, they're exposing themselves, both their skin and their eyes, to unnatural blue light. And it's telling their body, telling their brain to create hormones that are associated with waking up in the morning. And really, it's 7 p.m. You need to be getting ready for bed. For bed. Um, so, yeah, one thing you can do is wear the, wearing the red light glasses. That's good. You can wear long sleeves. That will protect you as well. Um, but ideally, you just kind of want to stay out of those environments at that time. Um, I'm, I know you can't be perfect. Life is not perfect, and you got to do what you can do. Um, one thing that I do is that basically I've started doing this since about January of this year, so about six or seven months now. And it has uh, completely changed my uh, uh, sleep cycle. Typically, before I would go to sleep, 11 p.m. to midnight, and then I would wake up anywhere from like 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., and I would not feel very good when I woke up, feel like I want to lay in bed for a long time. And, uh, not, I don't wake up with like a, okay, it's time to wake up. kind of feel like I just want to sleep more, even though I slept a lot already, and it's late in the morning. Now, typically, I'm asleep by 10 p.m., anywhere from 8 to 10 p.m. I typically sleep, and then I like to wake up. Um, I naturally wake up around 5 a.m. to, I'd say, 7 a.m. at the latest. Um, and that's, honestly, I think has improved the quality of my life. It makes me more productive, I, I think. It makes me have a better mood. I just, I don't know what it is about waking up early in the morning, but it does something to you where you just feel calm and um clear. There's a, there's a clearness in the morning that you don't find at any other point in the day. And so one way that I've achieved this is that in my own room, uh, I have uh, blackout curtains. This helps a lot because there is unnatural lighting outside my room. Um, so I have these blackout curtains, but they don't do everything. And so I have to, um, for example, out here, my patio window, I have to put a piece of cardboard above the curtain to block the light from coming that's coming through the curtain so basically you like over here on my door i put a blanket over my door because there's light coming through my door so basically i i just seal my room off from as much unnatural lighting as i can and i do not use my bedroom lights because they're uh led really bright blue lights i don't i don't use them even during the day i don't use them i just only rely on my windows um so on my phone, I have a, a, a red screen filter. I, I turn the brightness down as much as possible after, after sundown or close to sundown. Laptop, same thing. And this has really helped me to, um, to improve my life, to improve my life. I really, I really think that this has improved the quality of my life and improved my health a lot. Um, so this is one thing I think that a lot of people overlook, but it's not to be overlooked. It's not to be taken lightly. Uh, if you're really serious about getting healthy, this is really important. Um, one thing, one tip I will give, uh, if you have to go out, you know, to the store or to a restaurant or wherever, one thing that you can do is just wear polarized sunglasses. Uh, this is not, it's, the red light glasses, what they do is they, they filter out specific frequencies of light. Um, but the polarized sunglasses are just basically filtering all frequencies. So it can, it will help. It will help if you're in an unnatural lighting situation. It will just decrease that amount that you're being exposed to, at least through your eyes. Um, and that's what I do. If I have to go to the store, if I have to go out somewhere after sundown, 
I just wear sunglasses, which, you know, some people look at me weird because why are you wearing sunglasses at night? Everyone else wears them during the day. But the world is backwards, right? Really, during the day, you should be exposing your, your eyes to natural light from the sunlight. And during the night, you should be avoiding the unnatural lighting that's inside of buildings and, and around buildings. And so you should really just be only wearing sunglasses at night, in my opinion. And for you guys that, that wear sunglasses during the day, I think you might notice that uh, you feel sleepy. I used to notice this, and that's why I don't wear sunglasses anymore. So I think that is about all I want to say about light. Pay attention to the light that's on your skin. Pay attention to the light that goes in your eyes. And I think if you start doing this within a week, you'll really notice that your your um, bedtime gets earlier, your, your wake-up time gets easier and earlier, and you'll feel better. You'll feel a lot better. Um, so... Hope you guys find that interesting. Hope you find it useful. And if not, that's okay. My name's Daniel. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.